For those who love a good pumpkin, are always forgetting pumpkins that are sad. This is based on my favorite Raggedy Ann cartoon. Raggedy Ann and Andy and the pumpkin who couldn't smile. It was done in 1979. Animated television featured Raggedy Ann and her brother. Produced by Chuck Jones Empire. And of course, he was a great artist. It was shown on every late on. Disney Channel every year around time Halloween along with Casper's Halloween special, the Go the Cannaville Ghost, Mr. Boogity, and the Bride of Mr. Boogity, which night out, Halloween almost wasn't best for better or for worse, the good for nothing, and Halloween Grinch Night, which was Disney Halloween Treat and a Disney Halloween Treat. Double hitter, you know. Now, it all starts with Raggedy Ann and Andy, their dog Raggedy uh, Arthur, noticing how cruel their neighbors Aunt Agatha is to her sad nephew Ralph. And it's in Halloween, but realizing that Aunt Agatha had a screwed like attitude towards the holiday, the Raggedies at first seemed really annoyed with how Aunt Agatha treated his nephew and think that she really mean to treat him in such a way and not allow Ralph to go trick or treating the rest of the children in the neighborhood. However, they come up with an idea on how to make Ralph happy. Raggedy Ann's reasons for this unhappy little boy is when they live, then they must be unhappy when they're somewhere out there waiting for a the little boy. But then we see this pumpkin patch with the sad little pumpkin saying, I'm a failure. No one has ever taken me in. Why did they have to carve a sad face on me? Why? Why? And the mouse tried to help him out and tried to see if he can get sold. But sadly, the mouse gets buggered and bothered and he even abandons the pumpkin. This poor pumpkin guy has been abandoned by even my little mouse. That resembles of the mouse from Quick in Times Square, another Chuck Jones classic cartoon he made. I mean, anime at least. At this point, the Raggedies went to find the pumpkin and said, "I'll oh, find out a pumpkin just right for Ralph." Their thoughts were, "Can we steal a pumpkin?" No, it's never a good thing to steal. Never it is, Raggedy. Seriously, you can't steal. Then they found the abandoned pumpkin and pumpkin patch. A very gloomy, empty pumpkin seeds. His tears every time he weeps. The only way to cheer him up, cheer up is a sad pumpkin is to bring it to Ralph to give them the convince that I got to change her Scrooge like ways in Halloween. But we call him to her help her sister. Before that, we go through a chase scene. As soon as they as soon as they got the pumpkin, the pumpkin was thought to be happy. But as we were getting down the hill, we see a chasing a chasing loving scene. We see them each riding on a wheels of their own. For Raggedy, it was a little wagon. For Ra I mean, for Raggedy Ann, it was a little wagon. For Raggedy, it was a a little a little a, a, a unicycle. And well, for the pumpkin, another wagon. <laughs> and for of course the dog, Raggedy Ar Arthur. They all rode together on these funny little funny little toys that kids usually ride on. But then they got caught up with these sheets and made them look like ghosts. And then a few people got scared off. When a runner saw it happen, oh my god, he ran off with his head showing up like a gold classic Looney Tunes. It was awesome. Then the policeman saw it and he called his, um, his, um, his, well, his leader and told him about what he saw. And he thought that he was going cuckoo, cuckoo. But in the end, his sergeant said to him, I want to apologize for what I said to you. Plus, he did just see, did he just see four ghosts wheeling through it with a cat? Oh yes, the black cat that was really chasing after, was trying to chase after the mouse. That cat went on top of the pumpkin like a... <laughs> on the pumpkin. And then they all crashed into a tree, and they were all laughing over them themselves. And luckily none of them got teared or ripped from it from all that adventure. And now it was about time to do it. So they used a waggy and a pulley system to pull the pumpkin into the, into the window. And luckily Arthur had everything. They all had everything, and now it was all, it was up to Raggedy and Andy to see if they can get that pumpkin to that little boy, which they did. And then when the little boy says, "Oh, pumpkin, pumpkin, you came! You're the most beautiful pumpkin in the whole world," then little Ralph 
crawled over off of this bed and walked over to the window and grabbed the pumpkin and was able to get him onto the bed before he got, well, he dropped him and he broke into pieces. Nah, I'm kidding ya. The pumpkin gone, but And now it was time to awaken Agatha with her sweet childhood. She was a wicked witch. And I have to give credit to the artisans who did very well with the music talents, whoever played, whoever made Raggedy Andy play all those beautiful music. The banjo music was creative. The harmonica music, oh my goodness, that music was very talented. Whoever played whoever played the instrument in the background must have been a really good music to listen. Then as she realized how much pain she's doing to her to her own nephew, she wakes up and sees Ralph with a pumpkin. Oh pumpkin, there you are. You wonder me where you are. What took you so long? Then but somehow Halloween was still up and around, Ralph dressed up as pirate and Aunt Agatha just been a witch and gone off to go trick or treat with their pumpkin and put it on a witch hat and carrying broom with Ralph. And it was adorable. Now, Smiling Pumpkin told surprising neighbors as both Aunt Agatha and Ralph merrily went trick or treating together. And Aunt Agatha finally found new joy in Halloween season. And at the end, we see them saying, Happy Halloween and Happy New Ween! Or something like that. Happy Hollow and a Happy New Ween. Oh, now I got it. Thank you for the script, honey. No problem, Mom. So there you have it. We just got our trick and treats of this. Now, this was a classic cartoon that I love watching every year on Halloween. Or once in a while, at least. I enjoyed watching this. Uh, we have our ghastly years. June Foley as Raggedy Ann. Don Butler as Raggedy Andy. Miss Harbert Donovan as Anatha. And Steve Roseberg as Ralph, and Les Tamari Tamarinen as the pumpkin. This cartoon is very classic, I would say. If only they would make more Raggedy Ann cartoons. No, don't even think about bringing that out. Sorry, Sean Sylock, not to bring any haunted dolls into the into this video. I already have one in my house already. Don't ask. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this little presentation. Of it, the hall, the Halloween spirit is in everyone, even in doll. So, have a good night, everyone, and pleasant nightmares. <laughs>